All right. I can probably put him through the speaker so you can hear him. All right. Is he, does he say he's remoting in? I don't know. He, you were asking, right? Oh. I asked him. You asked his phone? I asked him on his phone. We'll see if he answers me. I'm Annie with Explore Scientific, and this is Lucy McLeod with Explore Scientific. <laughs> um, we are going to show you guys um, an IXOS 100 today. We're going to unbox it as quickly as we can. We were a little, we're a little late um, to the party today, just because of. You is know, it a party? You know, it is a party. It 100% is a party. Um, well, you know, technical difficulties happen, and that's just part of life, and uh, it just is the way things are. So, but we are here, and we are going to try to get going um, on unboxing this, and um, so you guys can see straight out of the box what it's like um, and putting it together. So, I'm going to open it up here and try not to uh, cut myself at the oh. same time. <laughs> it's not even. It's most be I guess at least I can just handed this Amazon to you and let go. you do it, do it on this side. Sure. Oh my gosh! It's on now. <laughs> totally not a person that is um, um, can drive correct. Are you qualified? Were you saying qualified? <laughs> qualified to operate a box knife. <laughs> no. Your driver's license has <laughs> been revoked. I was not would not be qualified to open uh, operate a box knife. Okay, so okay, all righty. This is the IXOS 100. Um, this is first. I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the tripod out first. This is a lovely tripod. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the items off on the ground, and then I'll get them up on the table once we get everything out of the box. There's the tripod. Here is. All right, the head mount. Now, Lucy, have you ever put one of these together? No, I have not. It's my first time. <laughs> Are you nervous? Yes, of course. I did this all by myself at my house. So I took one of these home and I put this together all by myself at my house. I've never ever used a, a tracking mount. And so, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> this is the back. Okay, so this this is a battery pack. It comes with. Um, it, you can put. I don't. I can't remember how many uh, D cell batteries go in here, um, or is it C cells? But this will only get get you about about three hours of viewing. Um, so by the time you pay for batteries for this thing, you might as well have bought a. Um, you might as well buy a power bank, um, which we have. I think it might be in the carousel. I'm not for sure. This is the T rod. We need uh, for the weights. We need that. The cables to run it. Um, this is a clamp to hold this wonderful device here. Um, it just clamps onto there. I'll show you how that works. Or you can put your um, actually a power bank in there. Um, the accessory tray and. Oh, yeah. counterweight. That one's heavy. I need that. And counterweight. And 
another counterweight. What, are there any little tiny parts? I'm looking for... Ah! Okay. Gasp. I'm missing the thing to actually... Oh, nope, it's in there already. Okay. It's all in there. Yeah, no, I was looking for the actual screw to, screw to attach the mount head to the tripod. Okay. Yeah, you'll set that over. Oh, here, let me get this other counterweight. <laughs> I'll take that five, that three, two pound counterweight out of the way. Okay. So, <clears throat> here's the tripod. The thing you want the thing you want to make sure of is um, when putting the head mount on, you want to make sure that the front um, of the of the mount is facing um, is on a is on a leg. So. Um, so because of that, Lucy, we have to, the reason because of that is because the telescope, the weight will go on this one leg. So you want to try to get, sort of help secure it a little bit better. Whereas if I put it in between, it might pop, you know, <laughs> fall over. So, okay. So this is so easy. Literally, the screw is here. So we're going to unscrew it just a little. I want to make sure it's loose. And then we're going to, I'm going to let you, I'm going to put it facing this way. It literally slides right on. Hang on, it might need. Let me unscrew it a little more. Yeah. Say that. Is it going? This is the pro this is short people problems. Still Read the instructions before attempting to put it together. Yeah, always. Loose to righty tighty. Yes, always. Yes, but did she do it? No, I didn't. I didn't read the instructions. Look at the instructions. Okay. I'm just, don't, just don't, I, I hang out with Tyler and Kent too much. They don't like to, well, Kent likes to read instructions. Tyler does not. He gets really, really, really impatient. So I'm very much like Tyler. It's, okay. If you're like me and words mess you up, there are pictures. In Look at that. I just sat it on there. As you can see. Hey, Noah. I'm going to can you um, fix the ASINs in Amazon. There's a gap. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a gap in between the head mount. So as I'm yeah. screwing it, I want yeah, you to start yeah. screwing it in. Um, it, I can feel it tightening down. Can you feel that, Lucy? It's going upward. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah, you're going the wrong way, sis. <laughs> Oops. I've made yeah, it available right. on Amazon oh, as well. It's we're lefty we're lefty actually lefty running on like Facebook and yeah, Amazon. Right. Tidy, so lefty, Lucy. <laughs> don't tell anybody. Now, as you guys might notice, this is, and it's on there pretty good. So, as you guys might notice, the head mount is obviously upside down. So, really honestly, the head mount is not upside down. The, um, it yeah, just, we need to of, unlock it. So, um, what we'll do, and we need to do that, I'm trying to think, does it tell to do it, do that? Does it tell to turn it before we put the T, the T rod in? Uh... This is, this is, I, I really, I honestly read yeah, um, says, instructions. It says, <laughs> assemble the tripod and insert the mount into the top of the central column. Secure the mount to the tripod by twisting the tension knob. Uh, attach and balance your telescope. Oh, oh, we're not doing it. It doesn't, oh no, it doesn't say. Okay, so that's the quick start guide. So there's a quick start guide in the instructions. So, so obviously, I mean, I just put the, we just put the head mount on in like two seconds. So it's very easy to put together. I'm going to go ahead and put this accessory tray on to kind of give it more stability. So it locks that into place. So let me turn. It's supposed to turn. Aha! You have to use your muscles or something. Okay, so we want to unlock it. Can you find the inst okay? So find the instructions that are a little bit more in detail. Okay. I'm gonna let her. Okay, this is we're looking for assembling the tripod, right? Yeah, well, we're done assembling the tripod. We've got the mount head on. So we assembled the tripod and we attach attach the equator mount. Okay, so we want to read right here. Okay. Uh, you're ready to insert the base of the equatorial mount onto the top of the central mm -hmm, column. We did it. Mm -hmm. Tighten the knob, level the tripod with the equatorial mount installed using the bubble levels on the base <coughs> of the equatorial. Okay. Equatorial. Which it's, I mean, it's this little level. There's a level here so you can level it out as you're using it. So before you unlock anything, can you find the part that talks about unlocking clutches? Let's see. I'm, I'm skipping ahead because I want to turn that uh, or, or a part about the T-rod. Oh, the T-rod, yeah, that's uh, not... The, well, the counterweight bar. Counterweight bar. 
Locate the opening in the equatorial mount on the EEC axis. It is opposite the telescope mounting platform. Okay. So. so that's over here. No. That's right there. No. 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 Yes. N where would I mount a te where would I mount the telescope? That's over here, right? Yeah. So right here is where I'd mount the telescope. So it's telling me to insert this here. Okay. That's what I was looking for. I was like, do I do I put this in first before I turn it, or do I not? Okay. So now what does it tell me to do? It says thread the counterweight bar until tight. Read mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready to attach the counterweights. Okay. So now we need to. Um, there, I don't. There's a thumb screw. Y'all can't see this. I'm sorry. Bring it down. Hang on just a second. I think it's the shortest this goes, isn't it? No, yeah. put the tripod between the two of you, and okay, it should be hang fine. Hang on just a second. I'm gonna put it on the floor, and we're gonna make the legs go out. Yep. See the green on the legs? It glows in yep, the so dark. Yep. So we can make it. A, I was trying to. I didn't realize it got past the camera. I apologize. I am new to this world of cameras and life. Yes, and you so, were. You're, you were created only three weeks ago. I was created only three. Yes, I was. Okay. What is that? What is that? What is that phrase? Um, today I was. I was today, today I was years old before I learned this. Yes, I was today years yes. old before I learned. Okay, so this little guy right here um, goes right here, and so um, it's a it's a we call this a toe saver. So whenever we end up turning the um, turning the mount head where the telescopes actually would be on top of the mount, um, this will save the counterweight from falling on your toe if it if it came loose. So how do we attach counterweights? Okay, orient the mount so that the counterweight bar points towards the ground. Ah, now it's telling us to turn it. Okay, so yes. let's put this thumb screw back or this toe saver back in. Yes. Okay. So how does it tell us to do that? How does it tell you how to? Nope, it just says do it. <laughs> That's lovely. Those are great instructions, isn't it? Okay, so the way we're going to do that is we need to move the we need to move the RA axis around. And so this this back here is called the clutch. It spins, it turns and it loosens and it tightens. So I'm going to loosen it just a little to where I can turn it. I don't want it so loose that I can't have control over the RA axis. So, um, so I don't want to like loosen it way or really a lot is what I'm saying. So then um, once I get it facing the direction with the telescope on top, I want to make sure that this bar is center with the leg because whenever I, whenever I take this into park mode, I want to be able to do that. Okay. I, wa I want to be able to, to line back up because we're going to use this leg as north. That's the other reason why we make, that's the other reason why we point, we put the mount head on where it's facing, where the front part of it is over a leg. So we know that that's, that's all, that leg is always going to be pointed north. So it helps, helps kind of um, um, when you're putting it down to point it in the right direction. Um, so then we're going to tighten the, clutch, tighten the clutch, not so tight that it's really, really tight, but enough just that it's hand tight. Okay, so now what do we do, Lucy? Now we take the thumb screw off of the end of the... Okay. Awesome. Bar, and then we're going to loosen the locking bolt on the side of the counterweight. Which is this guy here? Yes. And inside you'll find a little, there's a little pin on the inside of these um, that you um, want to be careful not lose. But as you, un as you unscrew this, it will, it will drop down into the hole so you know that that's how far we need to loosen it. Yes. And we make sure, make sure I can, it's all flush, and then we're going to we're gonna put that sucker right on there. There you go. Um, are we putting one on, or are we putting both on? Um, we can put both on. Um, I'm gonna do something real fast, because as you can see, I have a problem when I go to put this on. It is knocking my leg. So um, we, I, would, I talked about this yesterday in yesterday's show. Um, we are, I think we're ab about 33 degrees latitude, I think is where we're at in Northwest Arkansas. It's around there. I don't know the exact numbers. But so on the side of the mount, I'm going to turn it this way. Just like, just like the um, equatorial mount I was showing yesterday, um, there, are, there are numbers and, and um, what would you call these, um, Paul, these little lines? Huh? What would you call these little lines, like notches, like little... 
Um, what you call them? That's why I call them nachos. Off of a ruler. They look like a ruler. Anyways. It's nachos. I call nachos. them nachos. I just had nachos. Yes, you uh, did that, have nachos. That, that, and you truth. didn't share. I didn't so share. So I didn't have any nachos. Oh, so, well, you know, such is life. Um, it's your fault that I didn't have nachos. <laughs> so I want to turn this at, I want to try to turn this at, at um, about 30 three degrees so here's 20 and then 40 so 30 is going to be in the middle and then I'm going to go past that so literally I'm going to loosen so if I go if I go to the right it's moving it forward so if I start going to the back I start turning it I'm turning it right now if I was behind it so Lucy um, I'm, you're on that side so okay. start turning it and we're going to get that there's a little black arrow and we're going to get it all the way to 33. You got to keep going. Keep trucking. <laughs> this is where your muscles come in. Kumar says, hi, Annie. The hi, Kumar. How are you? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's hard. You're right. It's the muscles. It's the muscles. You got to get it going. You got to get it lack going. Thereof. <laughs> <laughs> so you just keep watching that little black mark. Keep going. You got to get past that little guy. Um, probably the second or third little little line, I would think, and then we're good to go. So we're going to try to get it about where it's at. So you'll need to know your latitude whenever you set up this mount. Um, you can also get on your phone if you have a smartphone and ask it. Hey, what's my longitude, latitude, and it should tell you that. So, um, and then you'll just the latitude is where you'll be at. Of course, it's not going to be down to the decimal point, but you can round. I mean, round about that that number. So, now I can easily put on this counterweight, the second counterweight. Let's do that. Hey Noah, do you mind to go get me the iPad out of the store? I forgot to get it. Um, look here. Hang on. Oh, well, well, this. Oh, look we at you. I don't know if it's got any power, though. Always remember to put nah, this. It's dead. Oh, of course, the iPad's dead. That's the way life goes. Always remember to put this toe saver on. Um, toe the saver. The only other thing I forgot to get was a power bank. Did you do you have one in here? No. Paul? No. But then you don't need the iPad anyway, then. Yeah, then I don't need the iPad. I can't make it go, though. You got to have a power People wanna bank. People want to make it go. Why don't you have a power bank? OK, so now what do we do? I just forgot. <laughs> I was okay. eating nachos. We have replaced the thumb screw. That We've already done that. OK, okay. so we did that. Now it's a Harold Locke says that's degrees. You're changing the I'm degrees. Gonna go get, we, the other thing that we were going to talk about today is our ED80. So let me go get the ED80, and we wow. will put it on here. Until she gets Come back on, here. Annie. <laughs> oh, well, that's hey. No, it Spaghetti doesn't matter goes. anyway. That's okay. I don't have a power bank. And she's back. <sighs> this is the fun at, at Explore Scientific. It's kind of like um, the Pepe Garcia Batar says, "Nice mount." Yes. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna take the extension tubes off because I think Kent is the one that left these on for me. I don't know, but what this is our e this our this is our little ED80 uh, milli or ED80 ref okay. um, a um, Apo refractor. Um, I don't know the focal length right off the top of my head. Um, it's a really great starter telescope, lightweight, has Hoya glass in it. Um, great. Hoya. Uh, Hoya. 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 Did, did it tell you to turn the deck yet, or did it just say? It says. Uh -huh. mm. Is she yeah, getting she ahead of you, the Annie? Telescope and RA and deck. Says once it's set up, you'll need to point it. Or, or no, first we have to attach it. So did it say anything knob. about moving the deck? No, at all. Okay, no. It says loosen the knob on the side of the telescope mounting platform and slide the dovetail mm. bracket into the mount. Which are these two little knobs right here? So we're gonna do. We're gonna uh, uh, loosen these two knobs. And then we're going to Yipper. This little telescope, this little telescope I have in my hand is a great telescope for viewing and for astrophotography. Um, you can um, you can get some great images in it with it. Um, it's a great little starter telescope um, if you want to, especially want to get, especially if you want to um, get into um, 
this you know astrophotography world so you can start off with just viewing with it and then turn wide around and field. start adding an image train to it would and it, things like that. Would it be that. called wide field astrophotography? I don't know is that what it's called? I don't know. I mean I'm not really Maybe. I'm, I'm not a seasoned astrophotographer so that would be Tyler's expertise um so um, I'm just getting started with just a camera and this mount. So that's how I know this Astro mount. Astro turfographer? Uh, astrophotographer. Astro turfographer. Astro turfographer. Astro turfographer. Astro turf. Astro turf. Hello. <laughs> so I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the diagonal on because obviously we want to balance this mount and make sure everything's good to go and not just start it at do not ever just stick a telescope on and just start going and start slowing to places you want to balance that telescope out and make sure that it's um, everything's good to go on well, it. Well the so, good news is is that you shouldn't hurt the gears, right? Yes, yeah, so you you shouldn't you really shouldn't destroy the gears um, on our mounts. They're pretty they're pretty, um, even yep. if you hear it grinding and all of a sudden stopping or something, it is It is made, our mounts are made to where they will not destroy themselves. So um, if you start hearing um, crazy noises um, because, you've, because of the, you've met the payload or overloaded it or something like that, then you um, have no fear. It should be okay. I always uh, have fear. Oh, you always have fear? What are I'm you scared of? Spiders, snakes, bears? Oh my! Um, or, what, or what lies in the darkness? What lies in the say. darkness? Um, I don't know. For someone who's so scared, you took a long time thinking about it. Yeah, I'm really not <laughs> scared about anything. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna. What, what does it tell us to do next? It says loosen the RA and the deck clutch knobs slightly and move the telescope in our desired direction. Okay, very good. So we're going. First, I'm gonna balance it. So. Um, it was upside down, and like I said, you're gonna undo this this clutch on where the T where the T rod and counterweights are at. So I'm gonna barely undo it, and I'm going to turn my telescope like this. Um, and it shouldn't see. I've let go of it. It's the clutch is the clutch is not engaged. It's not gonna move because of where I have the weights at. Now, if I took a weight and I moved it, let's say I moved both of these weights down here to the end it's still not going to do anything because the weight is balanced. Um, so even if your, let's say your weight came loose, that would be a good thing because then you wouldn't have to worry about the telescope taking off on you. Um, oh. Then... No, you spelled my name wrong. Uh-oh. Oh, no. How do you want it spelled? Uh, it's spelled on my birth certificate with an I. So now -U -C -I? we have that... L-U-C-I? L-U-C-I. That's what it's up. I I'm just spelt a, it right. This is Lucy with a Y. I'm just slightly no. cooler. Who's who spelt it that way? I did. Yeah. No, because uh, see sorry. on the screen. I, I have to. It I says have to, L U C I. I have to. I have to say I accidentally said the wrong thing. This is the RA access, but there, there. See now it's uh, and now it's out of balance. I pulled oh, the yeah. wrong thing. I was doing the um, deck. So let so see it's out of balance, obviously. So this I can take, and then I'll move the weight down, and let's see if that fixes it. And it actually does. It actually fixes it. So I slid, slid the weight down, and it won't move now. So now I know it's balanced that way. Um, the other thing that I want to do, then I want to lock this uh, clutch into place. Remember, not over tightening, just hand tight, hand hand tight. So that way it doesn't, it, you don't want to wrench, wrench it down or it won't, or it won't move when you go to so, um, slew it. Pekka, he's always talking on it to us here. Uh -huh. And he says, hello everyone, I'm back and for to stay. I think he's in the EU, so we're translating a little bit here. Yes. Uh -huh. Feels great to be able to watch it. What happened, Pekka? Where are you at? Yeah. Why, back, why are Pekka. you back? And it feels great to watch again i We're hope you i mean you. were you sick that you had covid uh were you kidnapped <laughs> did someone come and take you and you finally escaped <laughs> that's what i want to know i want to know what happened pekka were you were you kidnapped or did you were you conscripted into the space army and you just got back 
I'd like to know. The Space Army. We're going to say the Space Army. Yeah. Space Army. And we want to hear all about it. So yes, please. <laughs> we want the story. The Space Army and your experiences. <sighs> okay, so uh, now I'm going to balance the telescope. So I, He was what kidnapped. I, <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to make sure that it's not, see how it's turning? We don't, we don't want it to do that. So that means that I'm, I'm a little top heavy. Um, so I want to just barely loosen these. And I want to slide them down. Just, whoops, that's a little too far. Hang on, Lucy, help me. Yeah. Hold it into place for Hold me. It right there. Well, let's, Don't let's, let's, drop let's actually it. lock it. Let's actually lock it. So let me, and then I'm going to slide it. Oh, my Aridex, this is not. Thank you. Okay. So let's move it up this way just a little, because it was a little. Actually, I actually want to go down, because I said it was too top heavy, didn't I? Okay, so I've got, we've got a question. Okay. And then we need to address this question. And we may have to ask what the heck we're talking about here. What is it? So John Kovach says, on solar viewing, is it safe to view a non-eclipsing sun through shade 13 welding goggles? I say no. It's I, not safe because it's different. The, sh the welding goggles were built for a different kind of uh, yes. different kind of light. If you're going to the sun, get a solar filter. If you're going to, yeah, it, anything that is that is that is um, I, I, is deemed for solar so solar viewing. Yeah. So when you're welding, it's very bright light, right? But mm -hmm. it's not got the radiation coming off of it like the sun does. The sun has ultraviolet and all sorts of good stuff. Yeah, there's other there's there's right. other things coming off the sun right. than just welding. Yeah. Yeah, so and, and the welding, welding you're not getting of... all that extra stuff. So it is probably a terrible idea to look at the sun like that because you don't know what damage you're doing to your eye until it's too late. Because if, especially if it's a wavelength that's not uh that's that's not extra exactly visible you could still hurt the cones in your eye yeah what he said yes what he said <laughs> <laughs> no on honestly do not view the sun without anything that is that is um um not rated tested for and sun. approved for solar viewing do not do it do not do it so um, I just realized something that I have done on this mount. Remember I told you, I'm like, did it say anything about moving the deck? Yeah. So this is actually backwards. This deck is actually backwards. The reason I know that is because um, the, way my, the way my telescope mounted on it. So let me, I'm going to show you guys. The great thing about Explore Scientific's telescopes is on one side of the dovetail, on the, on the, on the dovetail we have... Um, we have um, a silver plate. Let me take. I'm gonna take this diagonal off. We have a silver plate that keeps um, that keeps the dovetail from getting scratched up um, whenever we mount them, because you know we're screwing screws into it, and so um, it can chip paint and stuff like that. And nobody wants chip paint on their on their on their equipment. So um, when I unscrew this, you'll be able to see. All right, hang on. Hi, Rosie. Thank you for saying hello. How are you doing today? You got to bring it down a little bit. The camera down just a little bit, right yeah, there. The lower, 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 right there. All oh right yeah, there. I see it. No, I'm sorry. I have a screen. I need to be That's paying attention fine. to. Yeah. Um, so this side is black, and then if I turn my little telescope here, this side is silver. So this side, this side yeah. is a protection in order to keep the screws from marring up the dovetail. So I actually had it in this way and the screws are on the other side. So that's how I know my deck is backwards. Um, currently is not facing in the right direction. And so, there's ahead. nobody running the cameras. So it was a little fuzzy. If you need a, another shot of that, let me know and we'll okay. set it back up. So what I've done is now, now I literally undid the clutch for the, for the deck. And so now I've turned it. I'm gonna tighten it down. Remember not so tight that it's kill, that it's like, you know, have you ever had like a dude come through and like tighten something and then you're like, you put, put the jar, lid jar, the lid on the jar and you're like, I can't open this. Well, uh, Josh Kovacs says, well, 
Mike Overracker said that welding with goggles, uh, uh, welding goggles are balanced for relatively narrow blue arcs and not the entire spectrum, which is absolutely true. Um, and I also agree with James Dugan when he says, never cheap out when it's your eyes. Get the right gear. Yes, get the right gear, get the right gear. Absolutely. 100%. So we might want to look into this and see. You may bring this to Scott's attention. And if we're wrong, then guess what? Scott can correct us. I he guarantee you Scott's going to say never view anything that is not tested or, 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 um, right. or for not tested and proven okay for solar viewing. I guarantee you he's going to say that. So Josh says there's an article in, in Astronomy Magazine uh -huh. that needs a big disclaimer then. I don't know what that means, but we might want to look into it and just see because I'm we sure might be Scott wrong. knows somebody. We might be there. wrong, but I'd rather be wrong be wrong yeah. about the article and, and state that if it doesn't say so for solar viewing, then... I agree. <laughs> So, okay, um, so now that I fixed it and my deck is facing in the right direction and obviously the motor's still in the front, but it's just kind of nice to keep your gear safe and not, well, I mean, it's not that it's not safe, just kind of in pristine condition. So having those screws on, those thumb screws on the right side kind of help that help with that. So now I'm gonna go back to balancing it like I did, like I was earlier <laughs> So until it's I realized. Annie, since we had technical dis difficulties, uh -huh. uh, we started ultra late. Yes, ultra late. However, we can keep going if you want, but I wanted to let you know that it's 3.03 p.m. Okay, can I balance this telescope and then we'll be done? If that's that's up to you. It's up to you. Yeah, let me balance it and I'll, and I'll plug the cables we in. We can stay so on can if see. you want. Yeah, let, let's stay on just a few more minutes because I want to kind of finish this. I okay. don't want to leave it. Um, so. So let's balance the telescope. So then I'm gonna I'm gonna undo the um, the deck um, the deck clutch. So now it still is. See how the lens is a little top heavy. So or the yeah the lens side is a little is a little too high up. So now look I have more control over it too with it on this side. So I want to <laughs> barely barely move it down this way. Pekka says solar viewing without the proper gear is only admitted at. Uh, when the sun is not visible. So I moved. At night. <laughs> We're doing great, Rosie. Thank you so much for asking. <laughs> um, so now I've undone the clutch and it's not moving at all. So then our, so that means our telescope is balanced. And so we are ready to move everything back to where, well, I gotta move, I gotta remove this back in position like that because we want it facing true north. James. James says, look at the dark side of the sun, but you can't look at the dark side of the sun because there is no dark side of the sun. <laughs> Almost like we're on the wrong uh, side of the planet. I love our EA members. They're amazing <laughs> and so technical. <laughs> okay, so um, so anyway, everything is balanced now. Everything's good to go. So we're gonna, we're gonna be set up for viewing. Um, so now I'm going to, and I we did away with the instructions. I'm sorry, Lucy. Yeah, it's okay. That's I mean, we kind of kind of ran out of time, but yeah. that's okay. So um, it literally one cord is all it takes. Uh, you plug it in right here. Then you're gonna screw this little guy in right here. My fun little names for things because I don't do technical names. Sorry. I mean, Tyler probably could Tyler if you Kent, wanted Ty, to. Yeah, if I wanted to. Tyler Kent would probably be like, what is the name of that? Whatever. It's called the Whatchamahoogie, the you don't always <laughs> spiral <have to> <laughs> cable. That's what I'm going to call it. No, that's not the technical name for it. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. So once you get that all set up to go, you can take this, um, you can attach it to tripod leg. Um, we, this is like, again, I said, this is a, this is our, I think it's, I think it's D cell batteries, I think is what it is that it uses. I think it uses four or six of them. Um, and then you'll plug it in. If I had an iPad here and I had power to it, then I would hook it up, um, open, I'd download explore stars onto it and it would be, and it would be ready to go. Um, when I did this at my home, it took me literally 10 minutes set up, uh, balancing it, um, and then downloading Explore Stars and I was ready to go. So I, of course, didn't take it outside. I was playing around with it in my house, but um, it's that easy, that quick. 
Um, a great little mount, lightweight. You can take it with you um, out in the field for astronomy. You can also use it for um, just for astrophotography without a without a telescope. Um, we have a. Um, I don't think it. I don't know if we sell it on Amazon or not, but. We have a, a camera uh, dovetail plate that you can that you can mount yeah. um, a Canon or a Nikon or something like that to it. I've got video uh, of that too. Um, so you just would a mount mount a camera to that, Mr. slide Mike that Hatch. sucker on there, and you're away and away to go. And so it's really a really 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 good mount, really versatile, really easy to use out in the field. Um, and so um, I, oh, there it is, right there. Yeah. So. Um, that's what I currently have my camera on, and that's what I use with this mount. Um, I have an ED80, a carbon fiber ED80 that I don't use right now. I'm just trying to get into some astrophotography, so um, and just learn the hobby, um, old school right now at this point in time. So, um, but uh, great mount, I highly recommend it um, for for somebody that just that didn't know anything about the hobby a year and a half ago to now. Um, I mean, easy, easy to use. So. Um, yeah, so I think it's over in the carousel. I don't know. Is it on sale at all? What is it on? What is the price point on it, you guys? Anybody? The This IXO is 100. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't listen. I'm, I, I'm, I'm putting Noah on the spot. He doesn't know what to do with me. $599.99 right now um, in the carousel, so I um, recommend. And then, of course, our ED80 is on there as well. Um, we didn't get to go over much of that, but you, you can see it's a great starter piece, um, great telescope to, to eventually uh, get into even better astro viewing than just a, just a camera. I mean, you can do amazing things with just a camera as well. So um, it just kind of just depends on how, how much you want to get into the hobby. So I um, highly recommend it. Um, Lucy, you got anything? I'm honored to be here. Lucy is our new customer service rep, and she is doing amazing, amazing. So we're so glad to have her on board. I'm very glad to have another girl on board, um, especially with Tyler and Kent and Wade. So it's great. It's great to, <laughs> to yeah. have another girl on board with me. So, but um, and learning. You know, this, if I said hobby. that, I'd get in trouble. <laughs> no. no, no, no. No, we're all a good team here. We we all get along really well. We we bicker like brother and sister around here, but. Um, but we uh, we are all about our customers, and so um, if you need help with anything, have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. So, um, is there anything else? I don't if know. If you call in, there's a high likelihood that you'll talk to one of us. Yes, so. if you call in, you'll get one of us. So I would think you probably yeah. would call in yep, and so. talk to one of you. Yep, so you can I think talk that's to all, Wade that's if all you want I to. have. Um, I you know can, we went over time, so you can call in and talk to me, but I can't help you with telescopes. Oh. Paul had no information whatsoever for no, you. I, We're I much could, more lovely. I could tell you stuff that was completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he probably could. He could misguide you. Misguide you at that point. If I time. misguide them but did it on purpose, is that still misguiding? That's misinformation. That's misinformation. No. Right, I don't know. Just Maybe I'm giving misinformation and misguiding you. Yeah, probably. Mm. <laughs> mm. Interesting. How the turntables? How the turntables? How the, t <laughs> the, turn How the tables. tables turn? I yeah. have a turntable at the house. So. <laughs> you know how you can turn a table? Just grab it and flip it. It's turned. <laughs> it's supposed. To... Now we were all expecting for a very small moment in our brains to hear a joke or a riddle, yeah. but instead you're like, nah, just turn it. Well, I, I've got something, Just flip it over. I've got something pretty interesting for you. You know when okay. you see a line of birds in a V that are flying, you want to know why there's more birds on one side than the other? Okay. Because there's more birds on that side. Okay, <laughs> yes. That's a great joke. You guys are full of uh, something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're great. I'm not yeah. sure it's advice or not. All right. I am Annie with Explore Scientific, and this is... Lucy with Explore Scientific. So we're um, glad you guys joined us. So. Are we coming back on at four? Are we coming back on at four? Um, there is supposed, we're gonna try to do a live broadcast right now. Tyler and Kent are in um, Yorga Springs for Stars and Sauce. Yeah. Um, we are in the process of trying to figure out how to get them into a show. So 
um, bear with us. If not, then... I told them they could go. I've got a video they, they did. Yeah, if not, we'll have a video or something. Well, I've got one now. Um, pictures actually. or something that we can, that we that can um, share during that time. So, um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're trying our hardest to get a, to get it up and running. Um, it's kind of... We're new to the whole remote thing, so I apologize for the technical well, difficulties, but... Yeah, because they sent it to me upside down. You know, they're so having the a lot of... So the video is I, upside I just, down. Well, it's probably because they're having a lot of fun out there. Like, Tyler's telling me all the stuff they're eating. They have a coffee place out there. Um, and he sent me a picture of a coffee shop, and I was like, oh, so you're telling me you're delivering me coffee? Is, it, <laughs> is that what's happening right now? He's like 45 minutes away, and I'm like, all right, I'm waiting. Time right. in it. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So here's the video he sent me earlier. I'm going to play that for you guys real quick. Awesome. Let's see it. Well, we made it through a night. Night one, really. Okay. Stay up till about what, midnight, one o'clock. It was around midnight. Uh, I had a lot of people come up even after midnight. Yeah. Asking what we were doing, why we were here. And we told them um, we're Explore Scientific, obviously. And Obviously, the clouds like it is now, just clouds. We got some good viewing in for you know periods of 30, 45 minutes. <laughs> I mean, you had you literally just used the compass on an XS2 PMCA, correct? And you got it dead, dead God. polar aligned just for the compass, shot. just for the compass. Yeah, exactly. And that was the best part. Is it's, we literally just plopped it, and that was it. Um, there. So back over our shoulder is the stage. There's yeah. a tree line between that tree line is between us and the stage, so yep. knocks down all the light. Yeah, and it's been really cool. And that's the good thing is they're not really heavily on the lighting. That's right on the stage. Yeah, on purpose because yeah. this is a star party. It is a star party. The name we are the name of stars, stars and sauce. That's exactly right. <laughs> but uh, it's cloudy again turn today. Turn this way. Show some more back there. <clears throat> we're, we're, okay, there's, there's more of the camp, some of the campground. Now it's Friday. We're we're expecting a whole lot more people to show up. Yep. Um, so we just we're just going to patiently wait. Uh, we're not doing anything right now, so we're going to go get some coffee, some breakfast, and hope the clouds go away. Hope the clouds go away, yeah. so we can do some solar viewing. Absolutely. So this is a little snippet. We're going to do some more of these, and we're going to do some lives as well. Hope you guys tune in. We'll see you guys later. See ya. Thank you.